Check out this viral video from Japan. Oh, God. Okay, it shows how easily germs and viruses can spread in restaurants like we were just talking about. The stuff under the black light shows that only one person is infected. But look how fast you can see how quickly and how far it can spread. The germs get on everything that person touches and even ends up on people's faces. Lindsay, does this make you think twice about, about staying in longer? Yeah, because, you know, even with things like buffets and that and that sort of thing, it's like, how are we ever going to know that the germs aren't passing? Yeah. And like Erica was just saying earlier, we don't know when this virus or if this virus is going to come back in the fall. So I am also hesitant thinking about stepping out and doing these leisurely activities as soon as things start to open up, like restaurants, as much as I want to support them. You think about this kind of thing. Like, you know, you don't want to bring it back to your home and possibly get sick or possibly it lay dormant in your system and you pass it to someone else. Yeah, because it's on the breadstick, the menu, the saying hi to the waiter, you touch a doorknob. What do you think, Erica? This is scary. Well, it's scary, but the fact is it's always been like that. Yeah. Um, you know, when people are saying be careful about door handles and, you know, people, you know, people aren't necessarily taking care of their selves in terms of being the most sanitary that they could possibly be. So you're actually trying to depend on someone to do something for you that they may not be doing for themselves. I mean, that's a risk factor even before COVID. Yeah, I'd never trust anyone else. Is the, the rule of the game this Friday. <laughs> Lesson of the day. Lesson of the day. And don't dine with mannequins. By the way, that's in at Little Washington, one of my favorite restaurants. I don't know what's going on.